guys, Doug here from Motion Raceworks here today on location from my 72 Nova cockpit. Today I'm here to change it up a little bit. We're actually going to talk about a new product that we just released last week rather than a tip or a pearl. This product is one we've been working on for a while and to be quite honest with you we wanted to release it a long time ago but we have had so many revisions we just wanted to make sure it was right before we sent it to market. So the product is a CO2 parachute release kit and why we are so excited about this is it's an actual system rather than just the components as most people sell it. So the basic concept of this is, is that you know a lot of us are using a parachute as a kind of a backstop or a safety if the car starts getting a little bit wiggly or out of the groove and uh, I mean let's face it the worst thing you can do at that point is take your hands off the wheel to reach for your um, lever like holy shit you know you don't have much time to think really at that point so you know kind of one of the things we thought about was how can we make this easier uh, and not only from an easy standpoint as far as uh, getting the handle deployed so the parachute goes out but also uh, on a user standpoint as far as putting it in the car because nobody likes to buy a lot of parts and then have to do a ton of fabrication to make those parts fit their car. So as with almost everything we do, uh, we like to test them in our own personal cars before we uh, release them to the public because uh, if I can trust and use a product, then you definitely can too. Um, I wouldn't want to do it any other way. So the cool thing about this kit is it's versatile. You can mount it up on your cage bar. It requires no welding, though you can weld it in if you would like. Uh, it clamps on. Um, so if you have a cage that's all painted and nice and pretty like mine, um, it's not going to ruin the paint. You don't have to take it back to a fab shop. You can put this in and not have to uh, wait on anybody to install it for you if you're the normal guy that doesn't have a welder. Is to put it on the floor, which I have done with mine. Um, my thoughts my are thoughts I like to have it down low, at least in this car. Um, if all hell breaks loose, I'm not up reaching my hands up above trying to find it. Um, say I cut a wire, I can still find it. The nice thing about this kit is even though it's CO2 activated, you can always deploy it by hand. So, um, you know, if worse comes to worse and you don't see that thing move, you just hit it. Um, and you know, the reason why I put it down there in my car is because I want to be able to find it and reach it easily. A lot of people mount parachute releases way up out of the way. And to be quite honest with you, a lot of them are just- So again, easy. you have a fail safe with this kit. You can always deploy it by hand. Just keep in mind, I see a lot of people that have like the handle mounted way off to the side of the hoop or I have it that's coming like forward and it's awkward because you have to like pull it instead of hit it. Um, wherever you mount this, just like you would a normal parachute kit, make sure you can hit that handle. Um, that's gonna be important if all, if shit hits the fan, you just wanna be able to get it. Um, of course you wanna be able to hit the button and you know, our goal was to make that as consistent and perfect as possible, but we don't live in a perfect world. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're installing this or any parachute release kit. So the nice thing about this kit is it can actually mount uh, one or two uh, cables. Uh, I'm not quite cool enough to need two parachutes yet for this beast, um, but that is a nice option and nothing needs to be changed. So if later on down the road, you do decide to add a second one, no other provisions need to be made. It'll bolt right on to the same we'll assembly. Also take two up on top as well. It actually uses the same bracketry. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that whether you mount it on the floor or up on the cage, it's designed to be able to route two cables uh, very easily that won't interfere with the cage bars and uh, give you that ability to expand in the future because none of us end up going slower. So while we're talking about rate, routing cables. Um, one of the things I want to uh, note in this video, because if you end up purchasing this, keep in mind, uh, we've redesigned this cylinder and this system a number of times because our biggest goal was to make sure, regardless how you route it, it's gonna fire or deploy the handle every time. So that was one of our things. We torture tested it, we ran, we kinked the cable 800 different ways. Uh, we ran it a hundred different ways, all that type of stuff. Um, so you, I guess what I'm saying is, even though we did all of that, make sure after you install this that you torture test this thing. Um, it's made to operate between 80 to 120 PSI. And um, after you route your cable, just test this thing a bunch of times. We wanna make sure that it's consistent and works for you. Uh, like I said, we designed this to be able to operate under nearly any condition. 
if somebody loops this thing four times and then kinks it four times when they're installing it, that's gonna be a bad thing. So let's make sure it works before we're counting on it. So again, this is made to work off your normal CO2 system. Uh, operates between 80 to 120 PSI. Obviously the higher the PSI, the harder it's gonna deploy. We run this one at 80 PSI, so you'll be able to judge by the video how hard it is activating. Again, if you're pulling two cables and they're routed crazy, you're gonna wanna possibly consider running it at a higher PSI. So again, the, the whole goal behind this is that when you're racing down a track and the car starts getting a little bit out of shape, um, you wanna be able to hit a button rather than reach your hand and take your hand off the wheel because, um, if, I don't know if you're like me, but I tend to, if things are getting crazy and I, you know, stop paying attention to the main thing I'm doing steering, then I stop paying attention and then what happens? So uh, my goal is to keep both of your hands on the steering wheel. And with that being said, hopefully deploy the parachute safely with just a simple push of a button rather than uh, diverting your attention. So I mounted mine on the right side on this red button and uh, basically uh, mounted off ignition power so it's always on. My CO2 is gonna be on if I'm going fast anyways in my turbo car. Uh, otherwise, it's not gonna need a parachute in any way, shape, or fashion. But uh, basically, hit the button and it deploys. Push the button, but that's it in action. And uh, that's just a quick push of the button. I'm not holding it. I'm not having to, so basically if shit hits the fan and you hit that button, it's gonna deploy the parachute. Very nice. Um, if you use our brackets, you know, that thing's right on your thumb anyways. When I'm going on the track, my thumb's about like this anyways, so it's just a simple reach over uh, to grab that. Rewire in my car. That right there was enough to deploy it. little note is this distance between where your inlet is and the actual solenoid, I have mine mounted right behind the seat, needs to be very close. Uh, I mounted mine back here because it operates just fine. Uh, I think there's probably about eight, nine inches there, maybe a foot, and that is probably about as far as you want to get that thing away. The further that that uh, two-port solenoid is, or three-port solenoid, is away from the cylinder, the slower it's going to react. So basically, if you mount it too far away, um, you may have to actually depress it and hold it. So our recommendation is a foot or less. Um, again, test it in your car to make sure that that holds true for you. But 80 to 120 PSI, less than a foot, that thing's gonna fire just with the graze of your finger. Um, and that's kind of what we uh, were aiming for with this system. We had a couple other revisions where you had to hold it and it was just, mm, I wanna make sure that thing goes out. So it's right. Uh, if you follow that protocol, you're going to have one awesome working uh, CO2 parachute release system. Again, as you can see in the pictures here coming up, uh, this thing contains everything. Uh, you're not sourcing materials. As long as you have a CO2 bottle and regulator in your car, which if you don't, we sell that as well, uh, you have everything you need to install this when you purchase the kit from us. So there's no hunting around, there's no crazy fabrication, turning bushings and finding rod ends and stuff like that. Our goal was to make it as simple as possible um, and bring an affordable kit to everybody that they can just put in their car and have a reliable CO2 release system. Not to mention, if you buy this kit, you have a pretty badass little billet release handle, which uh, all your friends will oogle about, so that's cool too. So anyways, if you're a drag racer and you drag race often, you should consider this kit. Um, if you're fast enough to have a parachute in your car, you're fast enough to need a parachute to uh, as a safety mechanism. Again, a lot of people pull the parachute. If the car starts moving around, you pull the parachute, it's gonna straighten your car back out. So in those situations, you wanna have it release as quick and easy as possible without thinking. And by having it on a button on the steering wheel, it doesn't get much easier. Thanks for tuning in guys. Uh, I hope this product is one that'll benefit you. I'm excited to use it on my own car. I've always wanted one of these and uh, I think we definitely fulfilled a need in the market with this. So please leave us some feedback. We always love to hear from you and stay tuned. There's more to come.